So in this lecture, we are going to solve problems based on Lagrange's equation PP plus QQ equal to R that is DX upon P equal to DY upon Q equal to DZ upon R. So we will start with the first problem now. Find the general integral of Z into XP minus YQ is equal to Y square minus X square. So let us see how to solve this. So I will write solution. I will write Z XP minus ZYQ is equal to Y square minus X square. So this is equivalent to say that it is DX upon ZX equal to dy upon minus zy is equal to dz upon y square minus x square. So if I compare the first and the second ratios, what will I get? The z will cancel and I will get dx upon x is equal to minus dy upon y. When I integrate, I will get log x plus log y is equal to log of c1. So this will mean that xy is equal to c1 is the first solution. Now, if I look at all the three people together, I have dx upon zx equal to dy upon minus yz is equal to dz upon y square minus x square. So I need a y square and I need a x square so that this y square minus x square will be adjusted. So I will multiply the first ratio by x. So I will get x dx and downstairs I'm going to get zx square. If I add that to y dy, I'm going to get a minus y square z. And the last ratio, I will need a z because there is a z here and a z here. So if I write a z dz, I'm going to get plus zy square minus zx square so that these quantities will cancel each other and I will get x dx plus y dy plus z dz upon 0 and which is equivalent to say that x dx plus y dy plus z dz is equal to 0 and when I integrate it and when I adjust the constant and I uh, make it simplific simplified form I will get x square plus y square plus z square upon 2 is equal to some constant and then I'll multiply the 2 there and it, I will get a constant c2 so that my solution will be f of c1 c2 is equal to 0 will become f of the first solution was the first solution was xy and the second solution is x square plus y square plus z square equal to 0. You can also write this as xy is equal to some function g of x square plus y square plus z square. See the next problem, which is y square p minus x y q is equal to x into z minus 2y. So how am I going to solve this? So I will write dx upon y square is equal to dy upon minus x y and dz upon x into z minus 2y. You observe that in the first two ratios here there is no z occurring. So I will consider them and I will cancel the y so that I will get dx upon y is equal to minus dy upon x and when I adjust the terms I will get x dx plus y dy is equal to 0. So when I integrate this I will get x square by 2 plus y square by 2 is equal to constant and I will call that constant 2 uh, as c1 after multiplying by 2. Now if I look at the denominators carefully in the original sum the original sum had denominators as y square then the second ratio was minus xy and the third was x into sorry it was x into z minus 2y okay look at these denominators carefully so I want to find a combination so that alpha times the first person plus beta times the second person plus gamma times the third person that should become zero so that I can make the denominator equal to 0. Now if you look here carefully here there is a y square occurring here and here there is a y with a minus sign so that can cancel this minus 2y. So if I choose gamma to be y smartly what will happen if I choose gamma equal to y if I choose gamma equal to y I will get uh, x y 
z when i put gamma equal to y minus 2y square x this is what happened what will happen if i put gamma equal to y and if i want to cancel this 2y s y square x this means i should smartly choose alpha equal to 2x if i choose alpha equal to 2x what will happen i will get 2x y square so that this 2x y square will cancel with this 2x y square and i will just be left with what with i will be left with x y z so what should be beta in this case if i choose beta equal to z this will become minus x y z so that this cancel with this so this means that i should choose alpha equal to 2x i should choose beta equal to z and i should choose gamma equal to y so this equivalently means that when i write 2x dx this is alpha dx plus beta dy means z dy plus gamma dz means y dz upon automatically 2x into the first quantity y square plus z into minus x y plus gamma x into y sorry x y into gamma is y into z minus 2y so the denominator will automatically become 0 so that I will get 2x dx plus z dy plus y dz upon 0 and which is equal into 0 so when I write this as 2x dx plus d of yz this is d of yz and this is equal to 0 and now I will integrate and this will become x square by 2 that 2 will cancel x square plus yz equal to some constant so this means that my f c1 c2 equal to 0 can now be written as f of first solution was x square plus y square and second solution is x square plus yz equal to 0 so in the next problem we will see z square minus 2 yz minus y square p plus x into y plus z q is equal to x into y minus z so let us see how to solve this so this means dx upon z square minus 2yz plus minus y square sorry is equal to dy upon x into y plus z is equal to dz upon x into y minus z observe here that when you look at the first two ratios immediately x will cancel and you will be left with only y and z so dy upon y plus z is equal to dz upon y minus z if i just cross multiply them i will get y minus z dy is equal to y plus z into dz and that will be equal to what i will write it as y dy minus z dy is equal to y dz plus z dz if i collect y dy and z dz on one side i will get y dy minus z dz is equal to y dz plus z dy and this will become d of yz and this will become y dy minus z dz and then i will integrate so that i will get y square by 2 minus z square by 2 is equal to yz plus some constant and i call it c so this means that y square minus z square is equal to my 2yz plus some constant so i'll write minus 2yz equal to the first constant okay now let us go to the ratios um, including including the first quantity so we have not involved the first ratio so dx upon z square minus 2yz minus y square is equal to i'm writing the question dy upon xy plus xz and dy upon x y minus x z so there is x missing here somewhere completely right so if i just multiply this by x what will happen usually remember you should try give a first try to x y and z okay here yeah, there should be a z so that will help you sometimes so it will give me x z square minus 2 x y z minus x y square so this this 2 x y z with a minus sign can cancel with the x y with z if i had a z over there so if i write a y dy what will happen write a y dy i will get x y square plus x 
xyz so this has become xyz so the second quantity has become xyz and what will happen if i multiply z dz here i will get here i will get xyz minus xz square and if I simply try to add them what am i getting if i just try to add them this 2xy will cancel with the xyz and this xz square will cancel with this xz square and this xy square will cancel with this xy square so that i will get x dx plus y dy plus z dz upon zero and that will mean that x dx plus y dy plus z dz is equal to zero and therefore when i integrate I will get x square by 2 plus y square by 2 plus z square by 2 is equal to some constant which then calling it c2 so the two solutions f c1 c2 equal to 0 becomes f of the first solution was y square minus z square minus 2yz and the second solution is x square plus y square plus z square this is equal to 0 the last problem of this particular section is let me write y z p plus x z q plus x y x plus is equal to x plus y so this is a easy problem now dx upon y z is equal to dy upon x z as soon as you write the question you will understand then the z can cancel immediately so one solution is very easy to find and dz upon x plus y right and there is a z missing in the third component so if i look at the first and the second component and cancel the z i will get what dx upon y is equal to dy upon x and therefore i will get x dx minus y dy is equal to zero and when i integrate it i will get x squared by 2 minus y squared by 2 is equal to constant and then i multiply by 2 and call it c1 but if i look at the first and the first second and the third thing together if i just add them my i will get in the denominator i will get x plus y so if i write just dx plus dy in the denominator i will get z into x plus y and this is equal to dz upon x plus y this x plus y goes away so that i will just get dx plus dy is equal to z dz and i will integrate it now so that i will get x plus y is equal to z square upon 2 plus some constant and therefore i will get z square minus 2 x y x plus y is equal to i will call c2 and therefore my solution f c1 c2 equal to 0 is written as f of z square minus 2 x plus y this is the second solution and the first solution was x square minus y square is equal to 0.